video. Today we're going to New Jersey. It's what day is it today? What What day is it today? It's Friday. It no, no, the day, the date. It's Sunday. Oh my fucking god, what's the date? It's June. <laughs> Alright, well, the date is going to be posted somewhere here, but it's... It's the 7th. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's 11-17. We're going to be it's headed 11, out... It's 11-17. It's 11-17. Oh, <laughs> the time. Can't do nothing around this house. I'm going to be headed out in a bit. Um, My guinea pigs are coming with me, so that should be fun. I'll see you guys in the car. the um the, the things on you see the corners right so they're gonna attach to the cage so you gotta yeah yeah so it's up to you how you want to shape it but at the end of the day you want to make sure they have as much space as possible <laughs> <laughs> this seems to be like in the new habitat come here come here come here she fucking long <laughs> bro they thick bro what you mean Hold, like the, her whole right leg, right back, like it's full of piss. So good. It'll dry off eventually. They really seem to be liking it though. I can't wait to see what happens when we take this out and put put them on the grass. They're gonna go wild. So it was nice to settle in. It's day one. I'm using my tripod right now. I actually bought it. It's brand new. Looks pretty sick. Anyways, it's nice to just have a day to settle in. Um, we didn't really get much done today. Uh, just sort of prepping the gear, prepping for tomorrow. I'm not sure whether it's going to be fresh water. Fresh water. I'm not really sure whether it's going to be fresh water or salt water. Uh, by most means, it'll probably be fresh water that I'm going to be fishing tomorrow. I'll keep you guys updated. Until then. See ya. Piggies. Good morning. Did y'all sleep well? Where's the other one? Hey. Hey, girlie. It's their first time outside in the grass. They having. They, they having fun. They having fun. They munch in that grass, boy.
eating their food. What the fuck? Why are you eating the fucking carrots? Kind of shit we're gonna need. We're gonna need like two or three mangoes, right? Got it focused? Yeah. Alright, just making sure. <laughs> um, you're gonna need a handful of mint. We picked this fresh. Thank you. Picking it fresh. And two limes. And a hand blender. So, first thing you wanna do is cut up your mangoes. Okay, yeah, Actually, yeah, okay. Mom! Mom! That was quality content. Mom, can you not while I'm recording? <laughs> <laughs> All right, focused in a little bit yep. closer. Next up, you're just gonna want to slice down your recording. Yes. Okay. Next up, you're just gonna slice down your limes. I like to do it into quarters, but honestly, it depends on the size of your glasses. You see these ones right here? They're pretty small. So I'm gonna cut the quarters into halves as well. So it's gonna be eighths. So let's do that real quick. All right, so this is what we have so far. We have our mango here that I just peeled up and got all the juices off my cutting board and put it right here. And I put the lime wedges into each glass. So now what you're gonna wanna do is take a couple sprigs of fresh mint that we have washed and place them into each glass, just like so. So now we're gonna be placing about like one to two teaspoons of sugar in each glass. I know it seems like a lot, but this mango is pretty tart. If you have a sweeter mango, use less sugar. If you're diabetic, you could always use Splenda, like my dad. My dad's diabetic. Go. So we pureed up our mango. Now what we're gonna do is pour a little bit into each glass, just like so. Next, you're gonna want to use anything with like a wooden back end, and you're gonna want to crush everything together, including the lime leaves and the mint. It's gonna help get out any of the essential oils and flavoring out of the mint leaves as well as the lime. So do this vigorously. All right, so now you're gonna want to take your ice, this is crushed ice. Just go ahead and place it into each cup, like so. I'm trying to get most of the crushed pieces. And our last step is just to crack open a sprite and top each one off. Just stir each one, get everything nice and incorporated. And that's it. 
Boom. Pow. Got our cocktails. That comes to my favorite part. Try that shit, boys. Hold on. Hold on. Alright, let's get a bow. 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 What that tastes like? Mango. <laughs> Try one. Uh, no. Nah, I mean, video could be no matter. <laughs> Try one, bro. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> I added so much sugar. What do you mean? I don't know why it's taste the mint. It's the mint. The mint tastes good though. Yo, I'll try it myself. Mint. No. I think it's mint. I like the mint. It's not bad. Because you made it. You're lying to you. You know. State Park fishing the Delaware River. I got a small piece of bait here on a tiny hook with a three ounce sinker. About to cast it out. So now I've noticed that if I put the rod down, I'm missing a lot of bites. So I'm just going to keep it in my hand and just wait for bites. That's a perch. Bring it over. Yeah, Carla, what have you caught? Nothing. No rocks. Nothing. What you got there, boy? That little bitch boy. That's a white perch. Bitch boy. Actually, bro, now that I'm taking a closer look at it. Nah, that's a white perch. Little bitch boy. I was getting confused with the hybrid striped bass. So Jim was the only one that was able to hook up at that time with one fish. Um, the tide was particularly low, so until it rose up, we decided that we'd go and try a pond nearby. Here's how it went. Yo, 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 I got a fish. I got bit, I got bit. I'm going down. Fuck it. Oh shit, I had one down here. Got him. It's a bluegill. Yes, sir. We could use it for bait. Okay, relax, buddy, relax. I haven't caught one of these since like a year. It's been a year. Alright. Dude, I hate like taking those fucking out of So after catching all those bluegill, we came back to the river once the tide came up and how was it worth it? We caught a whole bunch of fish and it was just a great time. Alright, so now we made it back to the Delaware River. We're just casting out some pieces of shrimp. Not shrimp into small pieces, okay? We, this needs to be done. Alright. So take that. Find the shrimp, 
Put them into tiny pieces like this, okay? If you set him up with one, he's gonna wanna stay longer. Okay. Yo, they hit harder here. It's not like a finicky bite, it's actually pretty damn solid. I'm getting bit. Shit. Nice. What sinker should I put on my dogs? Am I on? Go check, check it, check it. If it tugs one more time, you're on. I think you just put it in. Yeah, I'm on. Okay. It's really small. That's what happened with mine, I couldn't stop. Oh no, I'm not. All right, so the strategy is they're small. So I'm not to put on a smaller hook. Okay. Yo, bro, 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 you gotta move over a bit. I'm on. I'm actually on. Please tell me I'm on. These fish are so small and finicky. Yes, I'm on. I'm on. Let's fucking go. It's a tiny little bass. Is this a white? No, this is a white perch. I thought it was a hybrid striped bass. Am I rolling? Yes, I am. Let's go. Got another one out there. Yo, the water's coming up, bro. Yeah. What if we don't get the same bites? Yo, I just saw a fish jump. They're really close in. Right here. Yo, I wasn't even recording. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, check out that boy. He's pretty big for this area. Yeah, no. Look at that. I'm jumping, right? They're jumping. Hey, what? Yo, what the? Yo, right there. Can I go in and get it? No, no, I got it, I got it. I'm gonna smack it. I'm gonna smack it. No, 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 no. Yo, yo, yo. It could be alive. It could be alive. It could be alive. Yo, I'm going in. I'm going in. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. He's alive. Nah, it's not the same one. <laughs> I'm recording! <laughs> After an eventful day of fishing, we all decided to come back and have a nice little barbecue. Um, if you live in a Bengali household, you should know that unless your meat is charred to the point where it's almost black, it's not ready. So that's why it kind of looks a little bit charred, but it still tasted good. And yeah, that was a great time. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Um, this Jersey vlog was amazing. I had a great time. 
uh, I'll leave my Instagram down below in case you guys want to follow me, as well as the person here who's cutting my hair. Shout out, Jim, man. I, his hair cutting skills are amazing. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.